Hello and welcome back to another episode of Foxy Dotel's Minecraft Adventures here inside of my bedrock condition survival world realm place and what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day and you might notice my glass textures are still... Uh, my glass texture... Textures? Text... Whoa, what's happened here? What? Someone's been spinning my map. Yes, you might notice my glass textures... That's a word. Are still in the in the um, the new texture pack that isn't out yet the uh, the one with the broken beds that one you know the one that's going to be the default Minecraft texture pack once it's finished so it's looking pretty cool ooh iron doors look interesting sorry I'm still noticing the texture differences I didn't really pay much attention in the last video to all the differences but look the woods different and the stairs are different and the cobblestones different look at the mossy cobblestones very very nicely detailed that's very nice this texture pack. I'm not really trying out the different texture packs. This is actually going to be the official Minecraft texture pack. They're changing the one that we've got at the minute, and they're going to be changing it to this. I don't know when that's going to happen, but it's going to happen at some point. In but someone's been nicking my chicken again. There was over a stack in here. Who's been eating my chicken? Hmm, Jamie? Hmm, bet it was Jamie again. Anyway, anyway, um, let's go down here. We like that and let's have a look at what we did in the last episode and what we did in the last episode if you didn't catch it was this amazing aquarium and the idea is that we're turning our trophies that we got from the different episodes into one chunk museum sort of monument type thing so this is the one from the ocean monument that which you did in episode 46 the next one I want to do is I want to do the one for the end cities which is this one here which is the um, ender dragon and the Elytra, but also we've got this one, and these are actually in, that was in episode 37, this was episode 38, so they're episodes next to each other. So I'm thinking, we could do those as one, and just have one chunk for both of those, or maybe even have a double chunk that's for the end, I don't know. Yeah, I could do a double chunk, I suppose, but these are going to be over here next to this thing, and we're going to dress them up like the end, so we're going to need a load of black concrete powder, a load of black concrete and some end stone and all those good things. So the woodland mansion will be going directly next to this because they're going to go in order. And the idea was in, in not in the corner because I'm not using the corner chunks. But this one would have been the first one, which is where we did the wither. The next one would have been the end, uh, fighting the ender dragon. The next one after that would be the end cities. And then this one would be the woodland mansion. Now, if I could either do them both together as a double chunk for the end thing, or I could do them separately, or I could do them just in one. But if I do them just in one, then I'd have the Woodland Mansion there, the end one here, and then the uh, the Wither one there, which would mean this one would have nothing in it. So that would throw it all off a bit, because it's, it's not going to be in the middle then. So I don't know what to do. I don't know. Maybe I should... Maybe I... Oh. Hmm... Tricky, tricky. I'm going to do it as two chunks, but one thing. And the prizes can go in each one. So, yeah, we're going to have two chunks. We've got no... Oh, 52. Going to need tons of it. All right, okay. How many squig... Squid... 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 <laughs> how many squid... Squid inks have we got? Oh, we got nearly two stacks of squid ink. We don't have any more squid ink in there. And I don't think... We're, I think we're running out of sand as well. So we might have to go do some sand mining. We may have to go do some squid... Squid ink mining. Crikey. Right, okay. No worries. Let's go... Let's go get 16 stacks of... Of, uh... That's going to take ages, isn't it? I'll just do a quick video, he says. Uh, maybe not, mate. Yeah, 16 stacks. Here we go. Won't take long. Yeah, definitely have a shortage of sand. I have... Two and a bit stacks of sand. That's it. There's the bit that we've already been digging. So we might as well start here. We'll put a beacon up and we'll dig this flat bit here. Yes, good plan. Hello, rabbit. Hello. Oh my gosh, we could talk. Right, I've given myself haste one. There's not really much point in having anything more than that because uh, the lag will just kill it anyway. So that should be plenty enough to start mining a load of this sand and filling up some sugar boxes. I've got four sugar boxes with me. I don't know if I'm going to fill all of those up. I'll probably get bored before that, but at least I'll get at least one sugar box full of sand so that we can start making some concrete. What are you doing, rabbit? What are you sitting on my ender chest for? What are you doing to my ender chest, rabbit? What are you doing? Why are you being bad? 
What are you sitting on my under chest for? I can't open it now. I thought this was a cat thing, not a rabbit thing. What are you doing? You weirdo. Okay. I thought rabbits were supposed to be scared of you. I don't know. Anyway, he's having a good time. I'll leave him to it. Okay, so I've been pretty busy. I've managed to get one, two, three, four, and a bit. Shulker box is full of sand. I went through one shovel completely. I've got another one that's about half gone. And I think that'll do. I think that's going to be enough sand for me to get cracking on with. And hopefully for a long time. Because sand mining is pretty boring. It's pretty boring. I don't want to have to do it for a long while. So let's get our shulker box back. Let's head home. Oh. Well, I'll leave my beacon there, it doesn't matter, I don't need it. Oh, come on, fly, there we go. And yeah, let's go home and actually uh, start making some... Oh, oh dear, some concrete then, I just fell out of the sky. That was useful. Can I fly, please? No. No. <laughs> fly! There we go. That's better. Oh my goodness. Right then, so we've got a shulker box with our dies, we've got a shulker box full of sand, a shulker box full of gravel, and we want our ink sacks. So we're going to need 16 stacks, and I don't know exactly how this all works out. So uh, let's see if we can figure this out. Let's get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those, and let's get eight of these. Now I think that's going to give us 16 stacks, but I'm not 100% sure how it works. Um, I don't know. Oh, it's one, two... You get eight for one of those. Oh, it's going to use a lot of squid ink then, isn't it? Let's use a whole stack of squid ink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no. We're not actually going to be able to get 16. Oh, man. I'm going to need a load more squid ink now. Okay. Oh, that's all my squid ink. I've nearly got 16 stacks. That's all my squid ink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen stacks. 15 stacks! Oh my squid ink! Oh man! But I could all lift tasty stuff. Right, let's go downstairs and lay it all then. Wee! Right then, so we said that these ones would be going to be going into these ones here. So uh, I guess we need to start at the corner then. So we'll start here, I guess. And I'm not going to wet it. I'm not going to make it into concrete yet. I'm going to wait till I've got it all up and, and then I'm just going to pour water all over it. I think that's the easiest way of doing it. Actually, I need to do the ceiling as well. I'm going to need more than 16 stacks. And the floor. How oh, I'm going to leave no... Oh, I'm going to need loads more than 16 stacks. Oh, no. Right, okay. It's raining, as usual. And that's showing me that we've got a bit of an issue. Not only have I not got much black concrete powder left, but also the fact that it's dim, or the, the fact that it's faded or foggy, just within those two chunks is bad. So I think I'm going to have to realistically... Forget doing this in two chunks, which I actually quite like the idea of now, and just do it as one and have both of those trophy things in the one chunk. So, in fact, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring this line down here. I'm going to get rid of all that, and I'm just going to do the one chunk, which means we are going to have an extra chunk, but I'm sure I can come up with another trophy that will go there. The good thing is, because this... Um, this concrete powder is above stairs. If I only have to break the bottom one, and I can get it all back. So it's not going to take me very long at all to get rid of it all. In fact, I could do it very, very quickly, which is pretty awesome, really. Hurrah! That was easy. Don't, don't change my mind now, eh? <laughs> okay, that's the back and sides completely in. Now I need to do the ceiling and the floor, which means we've still not quite got enough concrete powder, because it's going to take nearly four stacks to do the ceiling, which we've got. And then we've got to do the floor, or, or vice versa, so we've not quite got enough. So I'm going to do the floor first, and then I'll worry about the ceiling and see what we've got left. And that's the floor in. Now we're going to need some water, and we're going to need some more of this. So I'm going to have to go, oh, I'm going to have to go find some squids now. Oh man, not again. What's that all about? Did I do that? I might have done that. No idea. Anyway, let's get our squid hunt on. Da -da oh no, wait. I've got my water breathing. Whoa. Good job I remember my under chest. Yeah, we're going to definitely need water breathing for this. Right then, squiddies. Prepare to make your doom. Right. Oh, the good thing is the squid ink, the squid ink is going to flow upwards now, which is loads better because last time I did this, I had to keep going down to the bottom to get the ink sack. So, so that's good. Oh, look, there's some dolphins. We've got to make sure we don't hit the dolphins by mistake there because, whoa, dolphins can... Um, they can, yeah, they can do some serious damage to you. 
if you, uh, if you accidentally hid one. They're a bit like zombie pigmen, so they're going to want to play, which is going to make life a little bit tricky, to be honest, while we're here. So we've got to be very, very careful of these dolphins. The other thing, dolphins should, I don't believe, I don't know if they do yet, uh, but they should like playing with items as well. So if we, if I get, break an item, maybe a fish, let's kill this fish. Whoa, watch out, don't kill the dolphins. Good job we don't have a sweeping edge on this. I can't get that fish. Let's see if we can get this salmon. No, no, it's not letting me do it. Yeah, they should play with the items that drop. They should like bounce more, bounce them around and things like that. There's, there's an item, this is squid ink. Maybe that's just in Java Edition, Ben. Maybe maybe they don't do that in Bedrock Edition yet. We should get Dolphin's Grace. If we feed them some fish, we'll be able to swim like they do. So uh, let's grab some fish. Let's see if we can actually get one of these fish. Let's use a bow and arrow, and then we're not going to... There we go. Then we're not going to accidentally get a, um, a dolphin by mistake. Where are they? Come here, you. Eat this fish. Eat the fish! I got you some... Why don't you want the fish? Can you not feed them yet? Oh, looks like you can't feed them at all yet. Oh well, not to worry. Let's just concentrate on getting our squids then. So we're going to need, I'm going to go for another couple of stacks of squid ink at least. As much as I can get really. You can see how the changes in world generations affected these chunks. Obviously these bits with the sand and the seagrass are new chunks. And all this gravel must be old chunks. So that's a chunk border there you can see right along it. So these grass bits would have must have been unexplored. But these ones will have been explored, which is really strange if you think about it. Yeah, because we've got ravines and stuff in there. So that's the new biome stuff, and that's the old one, which is awesome. Can you see the Enderman up there, look? I can anger him, I'm in the water. But he's coming in the water! Stupid Enderman! You, you're so daft! Silly Enderman. Where'd he go? The thing I think they might have got a little bit wrong is there's a lot of dolphins, which is nice. You know, it's nice that we've got dolphins, but I think they should be rare. There's so many. Everywhere you go, you turn around, there's a dolphin in all the oceans. I thought they were going to be really rare, and it would be really rare that you came across them. Like, I know we haven't got turtles in the game yet, but turtles are supposed to be rare when they come out, and you're not supposed to find them very often. I thought it would be the same for the dolphins. It's really strange. That they're just all over the place and it's not just the ones following me every time i go to a different bit of the ocean or every time i go somewhere else there's a load more dolphins oh i'm just about to run out of water breathing now so i've nearly had my time i'm gonna get this one and then he's got his friend over here let's get this one as well i'm out of water breathing now i'm on my own in terms of oxygen so i don't want to stay out too long what have we got one two three and a half stacks that'll do three and a half stacks is fine now we just need to head home Right, I've got a few buckets of water and some more concrete. Let's go make all of this wet in this lovely rain. So I'm actually going to uh, climb up the corner here uh, and like this because I need some more concrete that's actually going to be, or black concrete, that's going to be wetted uh, for the, doing the ceiling anyway. So uh, I don't mind a little bit more getting wet. And I'm just going to go with the buckets like this and I'm just going to sort of spread them down along the side like this. And I don't know why I've brought so many buckets because I only actually need one. Um... I haven't really thought this through, have I? Idiot. I'm such a smart fox. It's like I've got a big brain or something. Well, there's a dark black box, which is exactly what I was going for. That is the reason I'm doing this. If you don't understand, is obviously in the end, it's really dark. Now, the end has got actually a slight purpley tinge. We can't get a purpley tinge on this. So I'm going to go for that. And I'm going to have like end islands and like uh, obsidian towers and things in there. There will be some light sources, but uh, yeah, that's basically what we've got to work with. So now I'm going to need some end stone. I need to make like an end city shaped thing, an obsidian tower. And I'm also, there's one more thing I want to get, which I'm going to need another bucket of water for. I'll take three just in case, but we're going to go to the end and we're going to go try something. Back in the nether, the, uh, the water in the nether is now red. So this is water. How cool does that look since the update? The water's gone red. I think that looks absolutely awesome. I think it looks really cool. We've got a llama and a skeleton horse in boats now. Of course, there's loads of pigmen in these boats. Oh, this boat's been very well polished. Yes, yes, very good. All right, let me... Ah, what? Whoa, whoa, no, I'm stuck in a block. Hey. <laughs> That's not very good. Uh, we might need to address that. Whoever built this tunnel, I nearly died. Here we are, the end portal. The beds are looking good around here. Has this changed at all in the new texture pack? 
Not really, it doesn't look a great deal different, but the stone bricks do. I really like the look of the stone bricks, they look really good. Let's go in here. Oh, oh, this is new, what's that? That's a sunflower. Sunflowers face east, that's interesting. Very interesting, there's some boats and things. I guess this takes us to the Enderman farm, which is kind of cool. We don't want to be at the Enderman farm though. We actually want to be at one of the little portals. Oh, ah, uh oh, I've upset an Enderman. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I haven't got good enough armor. Let me under here, quick. Uh, uh, uh. Stop it, diggy diggy gravel. Don't distract me, I'm trying to take on nasty Enderman here. Oh man, oh I hate the end. Why is there mushrooms growing in the end? What? Right, I'm gonna to have to trust my Elytra shortly. But before we do that, we need to go through one of these portals. And I don't know which one, so I'm just going to pick one at random. Uh, we'll, we'll try this one that's here. Oh, it's a good job we got those enderpearls then, actually, because I'm going to need one for going through. So, Blackbird, what's this? They've, they've been named, have they? Okay. What's this one called? Pink Panther. Oh, okay. I quite like that. That's really cool. I put the lime in the coconut. <laughs> I like it. I like this. I like these names. This is funny. White and nerdy. <laughs> right, I'm going through white and nerdy. I'm having... Whoa, look at that. I'm having this one. And I immediately see I've come through to an island with no portal on the other side. What? It's not below me, is it? I haven't... Oh, man. Oh, this isn't what I wanted. <laughs> this is no good. Oh, which way's home? Right. You ready? On your marks. Get set. Go. Please fly today. Please fly. Please don't kill me. Please don't just suddenly fall out of the air. Please. Please let us just fly sensibly through the end. Please. Please don't kill me. Oh. Last time I did this, my Elytra just failed and I plummeted to my doom. Where's the end island? Why is there nothing here? Oh, there it is. Oh, thank goodness for that. Woo. That was... That was really scary. Right, okay, instead of doing what I just did then, what I'm going to do instead... Oh, no, I've upset someone. I didn't even look at you. Do, you. do you like me? Are we friends? Maybe. They're just whizzing about for the sake of it. Right, don't look at them. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. What's this one? 99 red balloons. <laughs> I like these names. This is ace. Someone's been really clever with these. Orange Blossom Special. What's that one all about? They're obviously references to something. I think this... Was this my original one? The Green Hornet? Or was that one my original one? One of these ones was the original one that me and Jack went through. I'm going to guess it's this one. Hopefully we won't have the same thing going on again. Let's, let's throw it through. Let's see where we end up. Nowhere. Great, that worked well. Right, let's get some uh, more ender pearls out of our ender chest then. All right, let's try that again. Why can't we go through? Oh, is it because the glass panes take up a full block now? I'm really sorry, whoever built these. I'm going to have to remove a glass pane and try that again. No, nope, I'm just inside a block. I can't, I can't go through that portal. Ah, I know why I can't go through that portal. I can't go through, through that portal for the exact same reason why, I, why I'm, what I'm doing, which I haven't told you yet. All right, let's try this one then. No, looks like that one's been taken as well. What I'm doing is I'm going to take this portal block. Can you see the actual portal block? You can take them. Now, you can't use them, but you can take them. I think you just have to put water down next to it. I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. You just pour water into it and it breaks the breaks the block. Oh, no. Maybe they fixed it six, since the update. That's a shame. Uh, or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. That's probably more likely to be the case. But the idea is that you actually just break that block there that I'm mining and then you get you get the block back but um, yeah it's not working the reason why I can't go through is because someone will have taken the one from the other side someone's obviously already done this on the other side of it so it doesn't go anywhere anymore so when you try and go through you just end up stuck inside it which is no good right then it turns out Val's actually got some which is very handy let's not look at the enderman I think I just looked at one Let's, uh, let's go home and meet him, and he says he can, I can have his, or he's got one for me, or something like that. He also said he thinks you can still break them, but so I'm obviously doing it wrong. It turns out Val's on the way to my monument. He said, go through my tunnel and turn ah, left, I guess this way then. So this must be the way to another monument. 
that they're at because they're, they're working on their ocean monument because I said they're not allowed to break mine. Ha! <laughs> I'm mean, aren't I? I don't like the fact that the gas will be able to see my feet here. I feel like my feet are very exposed running down this tunnel. Ooh! Blue Ice Mountain? Wow! Is that blue ice? No, it's packed ice. It's just because of this new texture pack. But look! They're digging out the ocean monument. How cool is that? Nice one. Very good job, chaps. Very good. Uh, right, there's... Oh, they're all here, look. They're all working on it without me. Always doing things without me, this lot. <laughs> well, look at these. Oh, where have they gone? Oh, they're there, look. The end portal name. So I've got five of them. He doesn't want anything for them, which is amazing. I've just offered him diamonds and he uh, ignored me, which uh, I think means that he doesn't want any. So there we go, we've got some of these. Let's go and make some end city stuff. Okay, so the main box we're gonna need to be building this thing is our end box. And in here we have end stone and purpur and all that sort of good stuff. We've got some obsidian to make pillars from. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build an end island. So I wanna build it maybe a couple of blocks up from here. Uh, Oh, I know what I could do. I could have like, let's say we had an end island, like in the corner, um, and that could be like one of the end city islands, and then we could make an end city on the wall, and then at the front we can have like the main end island where the ender dragon is. That could look pretty cool, maybe. So we've got now got the end island at the back, which is a little bit lower down. We've got our main end island at the front, which comes right up to this, uh, the chunk in front of it, and it's level with it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the obsidian tower sort of go up this wall. And what I was going to do with these end thingies, which I, I need some stone for actually, I'll show you. Now, obviously I haven't got any bedrock blocks, and I've no idea if you can get those in the in, uh, survival version of this. I'm sure you can, I'm sure there's some cheat or other to get it. Uh, but really what I want to do is I want to sort of not too far away maybe maybe about there i want to create one of the little end portals so, so i know that's not bedrock but i think it's pretty much the closest thing we're going to get to it so now what i do is if i place that there like that oh where did it go oh that's not what i wanted that's like a laid down one oh it's not what i wanted at all uh what ha happens if we go through that then i thought we what what happens if we stand in it? I want to know now. Let's go and... Uh... Huh. No, we can't. We can't get into it. Huh. Not a lot. There's nothing I can do with it. Can I Can I break it? I wanted it to be... Oh. I can't mine through it either. It's just going to be stuck there forever. Oh. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But I was... I thought you could place them and they would end up like square. Like the original. But obviously, maybe I'm wrong. So what I'm going to do instead, oh, I can't put anything there now because there's a block there. I was going to say I'll put an emerald block there or something that looks more like the uh, the original block. Let's uh, let's go to our jewel blocks. Let's see what we've got. I think the thing that's going to be, that look most like it, probably a beacon actually. I know a beacon's a beacon and it's wrong, but maybe we could use a beacon instead. So the beacon kind of looks right, but it's far too bright now. So, right, I'm going to try an emerald block, an obsidian block, and a lapis block. And if none of those look right, then I'm going to change them out. So what I will do, though, is I'll put a torch directly behind it, so you can't really see it from the front, just to give it a bit of light. I still think that's a little bit too bright. Maybe a redstone torch there instead. How's that? That's, that's more like it. That's more like the light level I was going for. I don't think the emerald block's quite right, though. So let's try... A lapis block. No, maybe not. What about a, an obsidian block? That looks most like it, to be honest, doesn't it? That looks more like the portal than anything else. So that should look like the little portally bit at the back of the end island. I think it does. I think that looks okay. Let's make this obsidian tower. Well, it's not a very tall tower. I think I need to go higher than that. And I've put a beacon there again, just to uh, just to lighten the top up to make it look like the, uh, the little end crystal on top. Because I don't want to use a real end crystal in case it goes bang. Yeah, that looks better. That looks more like one of the obsidian towers. It's not perfect, but it'll do. It'll do. The other thing I need to add on this end island is the actual bit where the dragon egg goes. And I think, is it like three by three, the uh, the little portal in the middle? Again, we don't have any bedrock, so I can't do it with that. But it's it's kind of like that, isn't it? With uh, And then has it got like four torches on either side? And then the ender dragon egg goes on the top? Now let's see if we can actually use these little portal blocks to uh, to do this with. 
Oh, we've only got four left. I've wasted one already. We need more than four. Oh, man. Let's just see if it works. Yeah, it does. So I can put one there, one there, one there, and one there. Oh, man. But I haven't got any more. So I'll use obsidian for now for the other ones. I know it doesn't work, but can I... Oh, I can actually drop into it and go to the end. Ha! That's awesome. Uh, not that I wanted to do that, but... Uh, yeah, that's, that's good to know that I can get to the end really easily now as well. Very handy. Oh, that's awesome. I want more of those. So we've actually got an awesome way to get back to the end, which is amazing. Apart from the fact that we've got that obsidian there, which looks a little bit rubbish. But that's really, really cool. Even if we don't get any more, and that's how it always is. I'm not fussed about that. So now I need to get the egg and put it on top of that pillar, which means I've got to break through that, break through that. Let's put a torch down underneath it so it turns into an entity. Break the block it's on. There we go, we'll pick that up, very good. Let's pop the egg back on top of there and that'll look like the actual ender dragon egg bit then. That's awesome, I really like these things so far. Hopefully no one will come along and like touch it by mistake and make it fall off. That would be a little bit annoying, wouldn't it? Yeah, this bit's coming together quite nicely, although I don't know if I've done that a little bit tall. I'm not sure if that's a little bit tall, but that'll do for now. There's Val whizzing about all over the shop. He's going in the wrong direction though. There's Redcrafter as well. Hello, Redcrafter. And Hobbisart Tango. It's all kicking off here today. All the shulker boxes going. There's end things. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to try and get Val into a chat and see if he can do as a demo of how to, how to get them. Wow, he's giving me even more. That's amazing. I've got six of them now. All right, do you want to show us this, um, how this works then? Because I tried and I failed miserably. Okay. And I'll show you how I can get stuck in the portal. Okay. <laughs> Fair trade, right? <laughs> yeah, this is my uh, this is my next whoa, um, build that I'm working on, which is my like end island, uh, end dragon egg okay. jobby. So this is um, whoa, this is what the okay. Is. So I can show you here. Watch. You see the edge of this block where you can where it's poking up. Yeah. I'll just place the bucket of water there. Oops, I did, where did it go? Yeah, I didn't get mine back. Oh, they may have fixed it. Yeah, well, if you... Because you do these... You don't do it on this portal bit, do you? You do it on the portal blocks, don't you? You can do it on either. Well, if we go to the end... Let's pop through. Hurrah! So I, I went through a couple of these portals looking for one on the other side I could use, but some of them didn't have anything on the other side. So then I came to this one, and... Oh. First of all, I tried to go through it to see if I could get the one on the other side. We didn't use this one, we used Pink Panther. Oh, okay. Well, if, if I throw an Ender Pearl into there, I'm just inside the obsidian. See? I'm stuck. Where are you aiming when you throw it? At, directly oh, I know at, why. at that. Why? Am I hitting the glass? Uh, yeah, it's the glass, yeah. Right, okay, let's move the glass then. I'll aim through with the, without the glass, yeah? Yeah. I'm, st I'm still inside it. No, 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 you still hit the glass. I don't, there there's go. no glass to hit. No, I've just taken it out now. Whoa, out. See, I'm still inside what? it. No, it doesn't work. It's broken. Ah, and an endermite. See, you're in it now. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They've broken end portals. Yeah, so uh, it's not the... Uh, the other one, one of them I tried earlier, went through absolutely fine, but this one doesn't work at all. So I assumed it was because you'd pinched the thing from the other side. So I tried to take this actual portal itself. Um, right, it... I can show you how I do it on this one since it's broken. Go on then. You need one of these. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, dispenser. I never thought about that, I just poured water on it. <laughs> and, uh, one of these. So water bucket in the dispenser, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I'm following you. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on the tutorial here. Right, yeah. Uh, leave it. Yeah. And then uh, a quick flick. Wow, that one actually worked, but it disappeared. We didn't get it. So now we've just got a broken, um, broken end portal. Well, that saves anybody teleporting into it, I guess. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, that's... <laughs> Looks like they fixed it, so you can't get them. There we go. A fake one. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to teleport it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm actually stuck and I've got no more enderpearls. Help! 
Help! I don't want to die! Oh, got out. <laughs> yeah. oh, I had to break the obsidian then. <laughs> can, we, can we break the bedrock? Uh, there is a way of doing it. Is there an easy way? Without, I know there's a really complicated, stupid way. Is there an easy uh, way? It could be like a chunk out with redstone and a dragon egg. and uh, Forget it. Forget it. Not that bothered. Right, okay. Yeah, it's not worth it. So, so we proved it doesn't work. We proved that it's broken. And we can't get them anymore. So you've just wasted Thank all you. your head portal things on me. Thank you. Well, no, I've still got some more. Well, there we go. We managed to get the portal fully filled up, thankfully, but we have determined that that not only was that portal broken, but also that um, can't get them anymore by the looks of it. So uh, we're going to have to make do with what we've got. Now I'm going to get working on this end city, finally. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's not too bad. It's not horrendous. Um, what I do want to do is I obviously want to have somewhere for the end dragon head to go. So I was thinking maybe some sort of end ship thing poking out of the wall, but I don't know how I'm going to pull that off, so I might just have it stuck on there and then the armor stand with the Elytron on there as well. I don't know. Oh, oh, I know what I could do. Actually, I've got a good idea. It looks a little bit odd, but I don't know really how to make an ender dragon. I'm trying to make an ender dragon flying above this when I was going to do the armor stand man sort of shooting at him. I think maybe I want to be using slabs instead of those, though. That's not really, it's not really coming through how I imagined it. Yeah, maybe it looks a little bit better, but I'm still not 100% sure with that. It's not very good, is it? But not to worry, it'll do for now. And let's just get our armor stand man. Let's get him out. Although he's not going to have a head now, which is going to be a bit a bit awkward. Uh, let's pop him... I don't know. Here, maybe? Oh, can I put it on an angle? Can I put it on an angle like that? Yeah, I can. Uh, let's give him some trousers. Let's give him some of his elytra. Can we give him a bow? We can give him a bow! Hooray! Right, he needs a head, which means he needs a helmet, really, and I don't have a spare helmet, so I'm going to have to make a helmet now! There we go, look, he's firing at the dragon! Yay! That's kind of cool! So we've got a dude firing at a dragon near an end city with the end egg, and hopefully that, uh, that, that'll that grow. I don't know if maybe it's too close to the wall. Let's see if we can get over to it and uh, move it a little bit closer. I've got silk touch, so I should be able to collect that. What if we put it we put it there, will it grow? I don't know. I've never grown them before. I've, I've never made a farm out of chorus plants. But I, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think it's quite as fancy as my museum, but I quite like it. It'll do. It shows what it's supposed to be doing. It's a nice, it's a nice, uh, yeah, thing, I guess. And the good thing is I can get to the end really easy now, which is great. In fact, I've still got a spare one of those. I think I'm going to put that in my bedroom and fire it so I can always get to the end really easily. And then I can repair my stuff using the Enderman farm. Oh, that's going to make life a lot better, isn't it? Yay! We've got Ender Dragon Fight episode 37. And then if I can just about place that on there, we've got End City Raiding episode 38, which you could just about make out from there. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can see what it is. And the good thing about this one is you can walk around in it and you can go in there and go to the end, which is ideal. Perfect. Yeah, I still think this one's better. This one looks awesome. I really like the look of this one. I'm not I'm not overly I'm not overly impressed with that one. I think it'll look better once I've got the other things built in around it. I don't think it'll look quite so bad then. So yeah, let's go home. Let's go home. And actually, the quickest way home now, I think, is actually to jump in here. If I jump in here, like so, I hop through to the end. And all I've got to do is go through the end portal one and I'm home. I'll be back in my bedroom, which is perfect. This is a much, much quicker way of getting home. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Right, so our last little end portal thing then I want to put in my room somewhere. I kind of want to put it in here with cupboard Colin, but I don't want him to accidentally fall in it. I don't want it just sort of lying around on the floor where it's easy to get to. So I could put like another cupboard the other side, but... Poor old Jack, I know he doesn't play on here very much, but when he does play, you know, he's got his room. I've already built into it massively there for Cupboard Colin. Ah, oh, I, don't, I don't think he'll mind. I've already ruined his mural, look, he had a lovely mural there. Yeah, oh, oh, I feel bad, but... But if then it'd be symmetrical, you see, it'd be better. I'm sorry, Jack, I'm doing it. I made a cupboard. But I don't know where to put it, and if I put it down, I lose it, so... <sighs> if I put it in there, I'm not going to be able to see it very well, it's going to look really awkward. 
I wanted to sort of do put something around it, which means I'd have to go even further back into Jack's room and I'm already up to the where the door is, look. Oh, I might have to build Jack his own house. <laughs> so I can have his whole all of his room. Oh dear, I don't know. I don't think I need these things anymore. I don't think I'm gonna get stuff spawning on my chest anymore. I'm gonna take those down and open my room up a bit more now. Right, what I've done is I've moved Jack's wall like one block towards me. Uh, here and this little door that he had there now goes to a little uh, secret corridor that links up to my room So I could actually probably go that way up to cu cupboard Colin as well But I don't really want to disturb cu cupboard Colin if I poke my head through there. There he is look. Hello Colin You all right, and I've just broken a torch off the wall now, which is not very useful So yeah, I think this gap will hopefully give us space to uh, to work with So if we kind of do that there And then that there on that side we can then put the end portal block there and then we can get in it. Now, that might be a little bit of a problem when Jack decides he's gonna come through from his room. He might just fall in the end portal. So let's put a trap door over the top of it so we don't accidentally fall through it. That might be a sensible thing to do. So if we put a trap door, can we place it on top of it? No, if I put that there then, and put that there and then break that. So we can walk across it, we're not gonna fall in, which is good. And then if we want to, we can hop in there, we can go to the end, really easily. How did you get in here? Hey, no zombies in the end. Oh look, there's one of them there as well. Does that take you home? It does. Oh wow. And I've just, I think I broke the sunflower. So if I go in here and go down there, I go to the end. Yeah, I did, I broke the sunflower. And if I just go back in there, I'm home again. Oh, that's really quick getting home and back and, from, back and forth from the end. It's very loud, but well, that's amazing. Well, that's good then. So we've got our little end portal uh, placey bobby thing in the cupboard. And we've got our little end uh, mural slash museum piece downstairs. And I'm in the ground. Let's, uh, can I go through there, please? There we go. Let's just have one more look at this before we go. Oh, how have you got down here? Oh, dear. I've now made it spawnable because it's dark in there. I did not think this through, did I? We've got zombies and endermen down here. This isn't good. We definitely don't want these guys hanging about down here, do we? Uh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's on fire somewhere. There he is, look. There he is. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to light this area up to stop things spawning in it. I never thought about that. That was a bad thing to do, wasn't it? Oh, I don't want it light, though, because then you can see it's not... The whole idea is that it's like the void. Hmm. Maybe, then, what I ought to do... What I ought to do is put some like iron bars or something across it to stop things coming out. So let's grab some iron and let's do that. That'll be how the zombies got in the end as well. He'll have fallen through that little end portal there. Oh no, I've made the end very dangerous now because things can spawn in it in, in here and end up falling in. Oh dear, not to worry. So I've put some iron bars up there. That's going to stop anything that spawns in there getting out. Apart from endermen obviously because they can teleport. But uh, it kind of ruins the view a little bit, doesn't it? It's not ideal, I do have to say, but it'll do. Or maybe I should just encase it in glass like I did this. I don't really want it in glass though, I'd like to be able to see into it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think I should do there, because I'm not really sure. I like the look of it, I like what I've done, but, uh, but I'm not sure if it needs something else. I don't know if it needs adding to, or if it needs a front, or what. I know it looks strange at the minute, because... It's just one big square box, but hopefully when we've got the other things going along down here, it won't look so odd. I'm hoping at least it won't look so odd anyway. But anyway, that's cool. I like it. I think it's really good. I'm happy with it. It needs a few more bits. It needs a couple of finishing touches maybe. But other than that, yeah, it's good. So, without further ado, I'm going to say thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did do, please leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!